piece and reduces gripping force as spindle speeds increase. Set your chuck pressure based on the highest RPM in your program. To demonstrate the loss of gripping force, we will use this electronic gauge, which displays how much force each jaw is exerting against the workpiece. With our chuck pressure set at 250 PSI and the chuck stationary, each jaw is pushing with 19.6 kilonewtons of force, or 13,000 pounds of total force. With the chuck spinning at 3,000 RPM, you can see that the clamping force is reduced by more than half. Now that our preparations are complete, we can use the Haas Intuitive Programming System to set up our jaw boring operation. We start at the ID Turn tab. We'll be using Tool 1 and Work Offset 54. We leave Z starting point set to zero, so our boring cycle will start at the face of the jaws, where we set our G54 offset. We set inside diameter to 2.2 inches, just clear of where the insert will start cutting. Our part's nominal outside diameter is 3.950, so we set diameter to cut to 3.95 inches. Cutting our bore to one inch deep will give us more than one third part length grip. We set the remaining values conservatively based on the insert we're using to cut these steel jaws.